I would say that there is no need for any type of action that will dislocate the state, dislocate the growth, the resurgence, the recovery which is underway. It is not logical. It doesn't make sense for us to kick over our own pail of milk. I urge reason this is not an unwilling and uncaring government we have gotten this far because we have been a disciplined government we have gotten this far because we have managed the finances of the country so well that the average Jamaican does not have to contemplate taxation We are now we are at a point where we can start to address our remuneration and labor issues. I urge our partners in the unions in the public service. There is no secret reserve of resources that if the planes stop flying, the tourists stop coming, our hospitals are shut down, and our schools stop learning and teaching, rather. That somewhere we can just go and take it up and present it. It is your work that keeps the planes coming in. It is your work that keeps the water flowing. It is your work that keeps the students in schools, that grows the economy that gives the revenues which we are now discussing how those revenues should be shared. Make the connection. And I'm talking now to all Jamaicans. Let us just work as one country with one vision instead of ripping our society apart unnecessarily. 